<laughs> you got a great podcast as well, um, where I know you, you talked about everything. We, yeah, my husband and I are, he's my yeah. co-host on, on Wind Down, and we're, we, I mean, we're open book. But I feel like, you know, we've, we've gone through things to be able to talk about yeah. the struggles and help people. I'm, so. I'm very curious, working with him, is that very therapeutic for you all? Like, <laughs> all, like, not just at home, but on air to be able to do that as well? Yes and no. So it was funny, we had, um, we filmed yesterday and we kind of got into an argument in that morning and yeah. I was like, God, I don't want to like, I don't want to go to work with you right now. I don't want to like talk to you. But then we talked about our argument on, on air and it was so therapeutic because we were able to like talk it out and then yeah. now people can see how we handle well, it. Let's talk about what <laughs> yeah. you've been through because you've been through a lot. You, you on the podcast, you talked about miscarriages, mm -hmm. a couple of miscarriages, chemical pregnancies, yeah. but also Mike's infidelity mm -hmm. and how you've come back around on the other side of it. How did you get through that time? I mean, it's still a process. There's still days where I'm like, like, do I trust you 100%? But you know, he's, he, he's put in the work, I've put in the work and you just have to realize at the end of the day what you're fighting for and if two people truly work together to try and mend a marriage i i think it anything's possible and you know i at the end of the day i'm like as much as i hate you i love you more than that so and i like i know who you who you want to be and who you're trying to be and but it takes time i mean we're mm -hmm. two years removed from it and it's still there's still days where i'm like man why? You know, I don't mm -hmm. understand. But because the last, the infidelity was last time you were pregnant. Yeah, and so, so that's like this pregnancy. Now it's I have so many triggers. I'm like, man, last time I was pregnant, you were doing this, and it's like it kills me. But then I'm like, no, stay present. What is right now? What is in this moment? What are what are we actively doing today that is is good and healthy? So mm -hmm. and do you go to therapy for that oh, to yeah. help you stay present? <laughs> so I'm, I'm a therapy. big believer in I therapy. I love therapy. And I believe in it. We we believe in it. I go separate. He goes separate. We go together. Yeah, so I think it's, whether you have infidelity, whether there's issues or not, I think it's still good to talk to a third party. Mm -hmm. And I have another question for you. You've admitted, I'm like that too, yeah. you've, admitted, you've admitted to being a love addict. Totally. And you state yeah. that that's unhealthy. What does that mean? That's I mean, a if a, a love, oh gosh, I mean a love addict, there's, I, I'm, I'm not definitely not a therapist, but for me, I just, I want to be loved and I want, I want it fast too. So if a guy doesn't say he loves me in two weeks, I'm like, meh, like challenge accepted yeah. also. But I just like, I love so easily and so fast, which is, I don't think it's a bad thing to love mm -hmm. so fast, but I think you have to be cautious. And there's, especially when you meet another love addict, you're kind of like, Phew. yeah, so it's, and, and getting pregnant this time around, I mean, we talked about, you know, you had, you had miscarriages mm -hmm. and your daughter understood what one of those miscarriages it was, was so right? sad. What happened? Well, she, um, she, she said, Ma, uh, baby and mommy. And I said, no baby, like the baby went away, honey. Cause she Aww. thought that, cause I was showing her pictures. We were so excited. And then How that, and that broke my heart. I was 10 weeks. Yeah. So, and then I was like, no baby, no more, no more baby in mommy's belly. So, and, but now she's clearly sees the baby. So she's really Baby excited. brother. Baby How, brother. Yes. I know. So I'm trying to get her to be my helper and I'm reading all the books on what to do with the second child. So, cause yeah. it's, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, yeah, but it's okay. One of the other things we need to ask you about is uh, One Tree Hill, and you were part of the 18 female cast and crew members who wrote a letter talking about the sexual harassment and abuse that you yes. uh, went through with showrunner Mark Schwann. He hasn't responded to what you all alleged. Uh, what was your time like on that show, and what did you personally experience? You know, it's really hard because I'm so grateful for that experience because it opened my career up to country music. It opened my career up to more acting stuff. But you know, there were definite crossing the lines. And at the time, I wish I would have said something, but you know, it's my very first ever series regular role. And were things said inappropriate to me? A hundred percent. Like suggestive, sexually suggestive? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I've brought, yeah, I've kind of brought you here for the now you're a season regular kind of what are you gonna do for me? And I remember calling my boyfriend at the time saying, I need you to fly to New York right now because I, like, and how, how do I like, at that time like how do I say no to this guy who's you know started he can write me off the show in a Scott heartbeat. Power. Yeah, and I just I kind of was like, ha. Huh. We but at talked the time, about that I wish I could earlier with Nicole Kidman, which yeah. she said in, in an article where she said because I married Tom Cruise, I had power at that point in my life, but you didn't have that. Well, and but it's sad that like I didn't feel like I could have that, and yes. that's what. And now in my thirties, I'd be like, I don't care how much this job may help me, like not happening, no. 
You want to write me off a show, write me off a show. But in my early 20s, I was like, ha, ha, ha. Like, yeah. no, no. <laughs> but, it's, but that's what you're speaking out now. Yeah. You know? yeah. And that's what's so important. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for being here with us. And congratulations. Thank you so much. We're I so excited it. for Thanks. you. Good Thanks. luck with the new thank baby. You. Baby appreciate boy. It. You can follow Jana on her iHeartRadio podcast, Wind Down with Jana Kramer.